Hey guys, this is Dow Phoenix, and today we're going to be taking a look at this Crash Bandicoot collectible micro blocks figurine. I picked this up for free at GameStop whenever I picked up my pre-order for the game. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Okay, so first off, we're going to need to open up the packaging. So I've got these scissors here. We're going to go ahead and cut that open like that. And then we can pop the box up until so you get that going, of course. Go ahead and go ahead and unblock this here. And oh, goody. <laughs> wow, this is going to be really interesting. And I'm not going to force you guys to watch this entire thing. I think so. Let's just take a quick look at the instructions. They kind of give us an idea of how to piece together this figure. Uh, we got two different sides, explains the uh, pieces we've got there, and gives us a general arrangement on how we should piece that together. So, without further ado, let's rapidly speed this up. Wow, um, these are apparently all the pieces. There are some duplicate pieces, but this thing is a little ridiculous. There's like nearly 300 pieces. It says 275 on the box. And just to show you guys a picture, that's what the final product is supposed to look like right there. And I kind of sort of laid out the very first step of our guide right here. So let's go ahead and assemble it. And now we have the legs, so the next step is for us to put together the pants. Let's do this. Okay, so now we have our pants and feet assembled. It is time for us to work on the next lower area. So here we go. Okay, and so we've got that phase complete. Now it's time for us to tackle step four.
Wow, now we're able to get to the good stuff. I think we can finally start to see it coming together. And that means we're going to get to step five before we finally get to turn the page. So let's get to it. Okay, so we're done with step five, but I seem to be actually missing a piece. There should be a two by one yellow piece right here. I don't know where that piece is. I don't know if maybe it slipped out of the packaging or what. I might do a quick search just to see if I can find it. And if not, we'll just try to do our best to build without it. I was unable to find it, so it's time for us to turn the page and go to step six. Wow, that really sucked. I just uh, accidentally shuffled all my pieces. That'll make things really fun to find pieces now. Um, I guess we'll just work with it, though. Sorry for anybody that's uh, really OCD and uh, <laughs> freaked out about it or something. Okay, and finally, we are done with step six. Uh, looks like step seven is where we start to work on the arms. And... Uh, that looks like a pretty complicated one, but I think we can handle it. In case you're wondering what's going on, I kind of royally screwed up and didn't really pay attention to a step, so I'm kind of going back through step six, going back to step seven. Obviously, the arms, I think, are okay, but we're going to have to kind of, like, redo this area here so I can get it right. Wow, this is really frustrating. This is like the Crash Bandicoot of piecing together a Lego thing. Notice how I didn't say Dark Souls of.
Okay, I think I finally got step seven finally done. Uh, trying to reverse piece eight and going backwards from there didn't work out the best for me. But now that we've got seven more or less finished, I just got to put the arms back on, which that's not a big deal. We could do that right now, as a matter of fact. Um, once we got that done, we, we should be good. So let's do a step eight now. Uh, again, just to refresh, there is step eight. Okay, now we're finally done with step eight. This was the worst step yet. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to compare with future steps. I guess we'll find out in just a bit, but let's go ahead and move on to step nine, which will be this one down here. Okay, so uh, now we're finally done with step nine. It's definitely getting a lot easier, I think, overall from now on. Uh, it's not going to be as wide, so I think we're getting pretty close. So let's check out step 10. Okay, we're finally done with step 10. So we've only got one last step to go. And I find it really interesting that there is a hollow opening on the inside. I wonder if that's meant to be metaphorical. And anyways, here's step 11. Before we should be finished up. And wow, we are finally finished here with this figure, at least according to this, because now we're on step 12, as you can see right here, which means our figure should be more or less done. And it does somewhat resemble the one we have on the box. It does look a little bit taller. I don't know if I accidentally added an extra layer on or what, but let's uh, get a good look at it. Yeah, it's finally done. This was like one of the most difficult Lego type projects I've ever done. And it was off of a little free pre-order bonus from GameStop, go figure. But this is really cool. I'm definitely gonna have to have it up on the shelf. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this time-lapse rebuilding of this figure. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe and share this video if you happen to enjoy it. Uh, but with that guys, down Phoenix out.